For this technique, you use two DSLR cameras with respective fixed lenses, a calibration pad, usually with a checkerboard pattern, a set of two wireless receivers for the camera and two wireless transmitters, which act as remote controllers to trigger the image captures of the cameras. For the lenses, we recommend using a prime objective with 35mm of focal length and wide aperture. We start the preparation procedure by connecting the wireless receivers to the camera using the provided cables. Then we set camera focus on the lens or camera to AF autofocus. We also set camera mode to AV or A to capture photos giving priority to lens aperture. The depth of film should be considerable and therefore we recommend an aperture of the lens of f8 or higher. We can then install both cameras on the test frame, in this case a metal frame. When installing you have to make sure everything is well tight. The cameras should be aligned and well positioned at the desired distance which is usually between 14 and 16 centimeters. Now position the frame and cameras on the desired scene. The cameras should be positioned horizontally and directly above the scene of interest. We can now test everything is working by switching on both cameras and the corresponding receivers and also the associated transmitters that will act as remote controllers to remotely capture the pairs of photos. If everything is ok, both the transmitter and the receiver LEDs should blink green when idle and red when a photo capture is taken. Now, before calibration begins, we need to change the camera focus from uh, autofocus to manual focus and F. Do it carefully. From now on, we cannot change anything on the frame setup. We are now able to calibrate this setup. We have to make sure that every pair of images captures the calibration pad within its frame. And we usually take at least 15 pairs of images for this process of calibration. We may now obtain the actual pair of images necessary to the photogrammetric procedures. When doing that, we need to always include in the scene the same checkerboard pad we used on the calibration procedure, but this time this pad should be located on an horizontal plane parallel to the camera's plane within the frame. The result of this procedure is one pair of photos. Those two photos will be used on the photogrammetic software at a later stage. This is one of the results, a normal layer envelope and surveyed profile.